Hi guys, I'm about to show you how to turn an LR Beyblade Burst String Launcher, or it could even be just left spin or just right spin, into a Metal Fight Launcher, like, you know, for Metal Fight Bays, if anybody remembers those, if you don't know, wow, wow, I bet I broke your ears, I might have to lower that in, ed in editing, um, this is a metal fight bay for those of you who forgot what year is it, man? This is Thermal Lacerda. So, here's what you gotta do. So, you do have to have a Beyblade metal fight launcher of some type. And you have to unscrew the screw that's right here. It's hard to see because I'm using the viewfinder in my camera. Um, so, like, sorry if I bump into stuff. But, um... You do need the prongs. You don't need, like, any rip cords or anything. That is not needed. So, here, I have a working LR launcher. This is the knockoff one. Um, because I don't want to, like, somehow screw up the, like, on-brand Takara Tony one. So, like, I'd recommend getting a cheap, like, $5 knockoff that comes with a grip. I unscrewed the grip and took out, like, the little piece that goes on and the, um, grips that go, uh, here and here because, um, it was, like, stuck on my launcher. I, like, couldn't get it off. Um, so you can fully open this guy up. Um, and if you see right there, right where my finger's pointing, you can see how the color, like, changes as I pull. That's how the bay logger reads. And like if you don't have a bay logger, you can fully open it up and take it out. And then you can see like this little plastic thing right behind my finger. It's kind of hard to see in the viewfinder for me to... There. Okay. See that one? That's also for the bay logger. So if you fully open it up and take those out, it'll make it like 0.1% easier to like launch so like you don't really need to do it and only fully open it up if you know how to recompression the thing like the um the spring with the um rip cord and i would recommend um like if you want to learn i won't teach you in this video but the video that i used to learn and my friend used to learn how to do it that i would recommend is a video by um a youtuber named kevo and don't watch the first one watch the updated video one um so yeah here's what you're gonna need you're gonna need you know the lr launcher or just you know the right spin or left spin launcher depending on if you want a right spin or left spin prong thing so you need the prongs you need a screwdriver to take them apart now this isn't required, but I would recommend a flathead screwdriver or something like flat because you'll need it to like get under this to pull it up after you take the screws out. Because the only other way to get it out is if you fully open this, there are some little clips like inside there and there that hold it in. But if you don't want to fully open it up, um, then you just need like a flathead or something thin to get under there and pop it out. Um, and then uh, that's pretty much it. You will need some sort of object like a knife. Um, so what this is for is you'll see later, but basically you need it to like grind the hole a tiny bit bigger. Because if you look, and I'll show you again later, the hole like right there on the launcher or the um, like the prongs is slightly smaller than the one on the metal fight one so you just need to like grind it a little bit now i basically did this tutorial for my friend and he had like an electric screwdriver and he just um put the screwdriver like let's say this is an electric scr screwdriver head he just put it in there and it was like really thick and then he spun it like a few times and it worked as if it were a knife you know like it did the same thing that it needed to do so you know, a lot of stuff work as long as you can just grind a little bit of the plastic. Now, I'll probably either skip over this or cut it out in editing unless I say something important. 
But like, first what you want to do is carefully take out the screws. Now keep your screws organized, especially if you're opening them all the way out. Or like not all the way out, but like fully opening it. Because they are slightly different. Now getting them mixed up won't be terrible, but it's definitely not good. And be careful, because if you strip a screw, it's really bad. Now, like, personally, my dad is really big brain when it comes to stripped screws. So, like, whenever I get a stripped screw, instead of, like, trying to get it out and possibly making it worse, I just go, yo, dad, get this out for me. And then he, like, somehow finesses it and gets it out. I don't know, but, like, you know, you might know someone who's good at that. So now this is where the flathead slash flat object will come in. So like, you just kind of need to get under there and it's kind of hard to do like with the camera, like so that you can see it. Cause like, it's like right in front of my arms and I'm basically like hugging it to be able to get around. And like, you know, you can see like right here, like that's where the pen goes in now i do know how to recompression the springs so there we go as you can see i got under some of them are like tighter against it than others just because of like how they've been you know done you can hear that just fell on the floor i'll get it at the end <laughs> um but basically once you do that you also need the flathead to kind of like get under there and just pop it off. Now two things, you'll see, three I guess. So like you'll see that, and then you'll see this little piece, and then you'll see the actual prongs. Now what this does is it goes into the prongs and there's some little ridges. I don't know if you can see, but it can go into like any of those little bumps right there. See like that bump? right there that my thumb is against that bump there um it goes into like those ridges that you can see like right there um like it'll line up and then depending on how it lines up it'll look differently there it doesn't really matter how it looks but i just personally like to make it so that way it's a line instead of like the weird bumpy thing showing up because i just think it looks weird but it doesn't really matter in the middle fight you'll see it has the same thing so, like, they're using the same design from, like, 12 years ago. I don't know how long it's been since Metal Fight came out. But, you know, they're using the same design. So, um, the things are, like, the same. But I'd recommend just use the one that came from this launcher. Because they might be, like, so microly different. I don't know. But, like, if you look right now, you can see if I show you that. And then if I were to try to put that on, I don't know if you can see on camera, but that is just like a tiny bit thicker. So this is where your knife slash drill bit slash whatever comes into play. So you get your knife and you have to be like really careful. You might want an adult to help you with this. Just like put it in there, see? And then twist it around a few times, just a few. Cause you can always take more off, but you can never put it back on, and then flip it over and do it a few times. Now, that should be enough, but it might not be. And be careful, because, like, it will get some, like, shavings. So, like, if you do this on a carpet, put a towel down first. And then you want, like, if you see this, this side, it has, like, an indent right there. And that side, it's, like, closer to being flat. So you want the side with the indent facing there, because the, like, indent if you see what i was talking about like with the weird bump i think that's kind of weird i don't know it doesn't matter it doesn't affect it but um as you can see like the little when it goes over you want the flat side to be there because the like bump down there goes in so it, the like indented part has to be there if that makes sense and then you just gotta push it on and then try to snap it on and it's like kind of hard and it is really tight now i need to take off like a little bit more of the plastic so if i open up my knife really carefully 
twist it like there's one twist on that side. Let's go like um like four or five and then flip it over. One, two, three, four, five. That should be enough. Um but you know. And your parents might want like to supervise you or do it for you while you're doing this. Um, and this, I forgot to mention, this is a mod that, like, I came up with on my own. I just, like, big-brained it, I guess. So, as you can see, I'm trying to snap it on, and it's really hard. I doubt, oh, I got it. And then you'll see, like, you can't really get it off unless you use a flathead to, like, pop it off. And it's much harder to actually put these prongs back on than it is this. Like, I had a harder time when I wanted to, like, put that on and swap something because I don't remember why I had a harder time. Now, right now, you can just, like, put on your Beyblade and test it. And before it rolls around and messes everything up, you can see that it did work. So, that means that, like, I already know that it works. So... Like, you know, I, I don't, it's not broken, is what I'm trying to say. I can English. Honestly, Lacerda was a bad choice, because the tip makes it, like, move everywhere crazily. I should have put a stamina tip on it. But, like, it works. You might want to, like, do this on carpet, and then just, like, you know, test it. Make sure it's spinning nice and fast. Grab it after you launch it to feel if it's adequately up to speed. And then what you do is you just take this. You put your little cover back on it, and then you can see, like, let me make sure it's all the way fastened, that this actually bumps out more um, than this. Now, it might look a little different for you if you're using on-brand. I would probably recommend, like, using off-brand because, like, you won't accidentally break a, like, $50 launcher instead of a $5 one that does the same thing. And... This is actually really powerful because, like, Metal Fight, the way they worked is because of the metal, the weight was on the outside, which basically, in less complicated science terms, the centrifugal force, like, pulls it out, which makes it spin faster because all of the weight is on the outside in science stuff. But with Beyblade Burst, they're plastic and they're lighter, and, like, because the top piece is all plastic and there's, like, the metals down there its force is like its center of gravity is closer to the middle and it doesn't have a bunch of weight on the outside so like the launchers are more powerful for a burst so that way they can get to spin at the same speed and maintain stamina so if you're to use a burst launcher you can see like the string is really long like you can't even see it all like there it is like you can't even see it all on camera because it's so long. And um, basically, because these launchers are more powerful, when you're using Metal Fight, you really like almost need to have your hands in the stadium because when they like launch, they spin so much faster than using like a normal Metal Fight um, launcher because the burst ones, like I just went over, they're just stronger. So. It, like, not only can you, like, have a string launcher for Metal Fight, um, but you can also, uh, have more power than, like, actual Metal Fight, like, launchers. And for those of you who want to get more, like, Beyblade Burst, um, like, products or Metal Fight products, I would recommend the website, um, baysandbricks.com, B E Y S. A N D B R I C K S dot com. Not sponsored, but like I would recommend it. You know, that's what I'm using like right now. I just learned about it a few days ago. That was probably really loud. I just learned about it a few days ago. So, yeah. And that's basically the whole tutorial. And because the knockoff grips are kind of like tight, here's what I do to like if you can't get them on or off. What I do is I just, like, undo the launchers. So what you have to do is these little grip guys are on the launcher. You got to take them off. 
what I have to do is get a flathead screwdriver, kind of get it under them, and then just like pry it off to pop it off. And then I do it with the same one, pop it off. And then you undo the screws, and then you can take it out. Now, this piece will still like be stuck down in the launcher. What I do is I just take the back of a screwdriver, I just like hold it like that, and like let's say it's in like that, but like it's about to come out. I just kind of like whack it a bunch and it falls out but be careful because like don't break it and then when you're putting it back together just pay attention like this little groove at least on mine like it might be different for the real ones um or like different off-brand ones it's the one that goes into the back of the grip right there so when you're putting it onto the launcher what you want to do is make sure that the groove is on the right side like on that side um I would recommend this orientation because it's easier to use like when the grip is there like that you know because pulling out is easier than pulling back but um basically like that way like when it's together it'll be like it won't have the screws facing up which is like the wrong way to do it so basically all you have to do is um get that on as like best as you can grab a screwdriver whack it in <laughs> um and then just assemble the grip around it and then put in the screws so that is the end of my Beyblade burst into metal fight mod tutorial thing like for stronger launchers and all that hope you enjoyed hope it was helpful bye guys